Hello, and welcome to Brand Clarity by Visions to Images, where we focus on strategy and business development for entrepreneurs at all different levels through branding and digital marketing techniques. Susie Libertor is the founder and art director of Visions to Images Creative Services, LLC. For the last decade, she has personally been instrumental in bridging gaps between the global digital market and neighborhood locations for some of the biggest brands around. Growth is possible for even a single location with the right professional branding techniques and Susie's signature strategies of Visions to Images. Stand out from your competitors and bring your visions to life while watching your sales skyrocket. Your host for this is Susie Libertor, owner of Visions to Images. Hello, everybody. Today on my podcast, I want to talk to you guys about how to leverage LinkedIn part two, and this is B2B, so business to business. How can we sell on LinkedIn business to business without being super salesy, right? So there's that there's that fine line between sales and marketing. A lot of times people think they go together and they do, absolutely. So how can we really use LinkedIn to reach B2B customers? It's, it's a whole different game field. It's a whole different thing. So I'm super excited. So first of all, my top thing that I always tell my clients and whenever I take over theirs is to really beef up your business LinkedIn profile. So this kind of goes hand in hand. I would also recommend having your personal page up to par. You want to make sure that you have your bio, your, your about, and that you work at your business page and it's linked. And then your business page should really be beefed up. It should have all of the information that somebody needs if they're searching. There should be a call to action, and that can just be visit our website for more information. There should be posts that are going on your business page as well as on your personal page. And again, you want to make sure that the posts aren't always super salesy. You want to add in some inspiration, some motivation, some blog posts, other things like that to really help and educate, right? That's all All marketing is, is really educating somebody to really understand your services and who you are because we want to trust the person that we're investing in. So with your business profile, I recommend, you know, having your logo, your header. If you have employees, you can totally have them say that they work there and really just understanding in-betweens of what a business page can do for you. You might not necessarily get a lot of traction from the business page if you're starting it up from scratch, but it's just like anything else. You really need to give it some attention and some love and you need to share it to your personal page. And now there's this cool feature too on LinkedIn where you're able to invite people to like your page and to follow it. As LinkedIn calls it follow, it's not necessarily a like your page, but it's follow. So there's ways to target those people and you can target them by location. So that's really what I recommend doing. And when I say the company page, I also mean like having a lot of information about who you are, some quick services, all of those things. And you really want to track your performance and you're able to even post blogs and other fun stuff into your business page as well as your personal page. So you really want to make sure that you are tracking your page. And if you're using a third party like Hootsuite, Buffer, any of that, like you can totally track it as well on there. But LinkedIn really dives in on the back end and shows you like how many new visitors this week, how many people search, all of those things that can really help you and guide you if what you're doing is working. So here's the thing about marketing. You always want to know who your audience is at all times. If your audience isn't on LinkedIn, I don't recommend that you do all of these things. But if you're B2B, I would highly consider doing some of these things. So knowing your audience and what caters to them is super huge. We want to know that for so many different reasons for when it comes to marketing. So how do we do that? We create valuable content. Like I said, really understanding what is going out into the world. Now, when you're on your business page, it's probably going to be a little bit different than your personal, but your business page really needs to have a lot of great information such as blog posts, and it can be yours. It can be somebody else, like really showing up with the regular content that needs to go out to your audience. What do they want to hear? If you don't know what, what they want to hear, ask them. You know, you have clients, you just ask them, hey, I'm putting together a blog post. What would you recommend that I could talk about next? Or having guest features and guest interviews are super important too. And you always want them to link back to some sort of thing, such as your website, because that just kind of gives that traction and that traffic to your website. The other thing that's really popular right now is videos. And if you're doing B2B, I don't necessarily recommend doing TikTok or reels on Instagram, like really creating an informative video 
that people want to listen to, but you don't want it to be super long, right? You want it to be five minutes or less, like super sweet, super easy. But the other added benefit to having a video is also having it transcribed. So you can transcribe it to your blog post, you can transcribe it and you can have the words right on the video. So if somebody can't watch the video, they can kind of read the text as it's going by. I mean, sometimes I'll read a a video. It's funny to say that I'll read a video when I'm sitting with my son, because I don't want to turn it on and distract him. So I read the video. And if it's interesting, I will keep reading it or listen more in depth later. So it's really understanding that there's different ways to utilize your video. And the best part too about videos is you can add in your own custom branding and or your logo. So it's really added that benefit to it. And it's not just, hey, here's my video, right? We wanna brand ourselves at all times. So it's understanding that, yes, I wanna put my video up. Yes, I want my logo on it, all of the different things. Hey, hey, let's stop for just one second during this podcast episode. I know you're so excited to get back and listen, but I wanted to chat with you and talk about how we really work with businesses. What we really do is we dive in and we ask so many questions. We go through a series of questionnaires and extensive research to really help you get a clear, identifiable plan of action that needs to happen for your business. If you want to hear more about this, go to visions2images.com, click the contact us button, and we will be happy to set up a time to chat more. You can also try LinkedIn ads. Now, I am guilty. I have not tried LinkedIn ads. I've thought about it, but I have not put in the effort just yet to do that. But I've heard great results from it, especially if you are B2B. I would highly encourage you to look into these. I'm actually still in the works of looking into it and figuring out if it's something I want to pursue as well. So I recommend looking into it. You can do it just as great as Facebook ads, but Facebook ads might not reach your audience in the way that LinkedIn can. So really trying and testing out different things to reach that audience is critical. And anytime you have a post, it's so important too to ask people to comment or share or whatever. Like if you have buddies that are business owners like you, just asking them to do simple little things like that will really help you stand out on LinkedIn. The other thing that I really personally love to do, and I've said this before, is I love to send messages. I love to connect with people. And then I love to ask them for a call. It's not salesy, but I'm just like, hey, let's connect. We have a lot of mutual friends in common, you know, and continuing that conversation and really showing up that you're interested in what they have. And then asking for a call. If you guys are responding back and forth, just asking for a call. Hey, how can we get to know one another so that we can refer business to one another? right? That's essentially what it is. And that's all about networking. They might turn into a client or they might have clients for you. So it's always super important to keep those connections and to keep that messaging going on your LinkedIn at all times. So that is a lot in a nutshell for what I kind of recommend for B2B marketing. There's so much great stuff that happens and You really want to make sure that you are doing amazing, you know, just kind of showing up, doing videos, articles, and then even asking for recommendations on your personal page can be huge because that also shows off what you are doing as a person and business owner. So there's a lot that kind of go hand in hand. Your personal page and your business page go hand in hand for sure. So it's kind of like the two of them have to work together. It's not just, oh, I have a business page and I'm just going to let it sit there and just post and not create any traffic for it. So much more to it. So those are my suggestions for you to how to leverage your LinkedIn on a B2B status. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and brief B2B LinkedIn leveraging podcast. I feel like there's so much great stuff on LinkedIn and it's always changing and evolving. And LinkedIn is just becoming one of my best friends lately. Definitely use it to your advantage, you know, and don't put all your eggs in one basket. Like I tell my clients, like don't give up Facebook, don't give up other things that are still generating sales and revenue, but expand your horizons, but don't take on everything. I mean, LinkedIn is only good for certain people and businesses. So really understanding if your audience is there is the first component and the first step if you want to do B2B. So I hope this gave you some helpful information. And as always, if you are looking for guidance and support, feel free to reach out with clicking the button below saying get a quote, and we can absolutely provide you with some information and figure out what the next best steps are for you. Have a great day. Thank you for listening in on this episode today. Please make sure to check out the links from your guests and visions to images to learn more about each other. It takes a village, as you know, so connect and grow with one another together. Thank you so much for listening.